Whoa. Welcome, player one. You're now entering a live arcade game. I feel like I'm in the fifth element. Is Bruce Willis in here? While it looks like it could be the set of a movie, this is actually Bam Kazam, the first human-sized live arcade game that's tucked away in Scottsdale, Arizona. Created by the makers of Escape the Room, this interactive game is designed to suck you in, literally. The key is, we're in an arcade, you're trying to control a character through a joystick and buttons. In our arcade, you are the character. General Manager Jacob Redwood breaks it down, starting with the objective. You control the gameplay, so you jump into an environment. If you don't do anything, nothing happens. If you step forward on that ledge, find out what's going to happen next. The games are designed for multiple players. It calls for teamwork, communication, and sometimes even a little physical finesse to complete your mission. I see why you need a team for this. Okay, I'm going to be in here a while. Using wristbands to enter each room, you'll have one chance to beat the level, or you'll have to start all over again, and the win is worth it every time. Got it! Jacob says, unlike escape rooms where you spend all of your time on one mission, a live arcade, you're gonna get multiple themes. From being a burglar on top of a New York high rise, hey. Whew. and this is why we don't skip leg day, to exploring temples Indiana Jones style. <laughs> Each room lets you know when it's ready for play when the bomb above the door is lit. It's just a, a variety of experiences, and you may not like all of them, but you're definitely gonna find that one or two that you're like, this is my game. Each adventure comes with three small rooms or levels for you to beat in order to win, wrapping us up with the challenges. Everything's short format, so each level is solved within one to three minutes. And while that doesn't seem like a long time, you're given no rules or direction when you start your mission. So you'll start on level one. It's not level one like easy, medium, hard. It's the game begins here, and it's gonna take you several times to learn what those rules are, and you learn, fortunately, by failing. The physical and mental challenges involved are skill-based, and Jacob says every setback isn't a bad thing because eventually those losses add up to understanding the game, eventually a victory. No quarters or cheat codes needed for this arcade. Pressing start on a new way to game.